Where's the damn thing? Alright. It's all good? All good. Uh, what's up guys? It's off here back with some more on Mewji and um, I was too lazy to do videos so I was thinking why don't we just stream it. Hey what's up Lord Orlando? Like uh, I'm streaming some on Mewji today. So uh, first up, like it's um, almost like 6am. What's up Alex? It's almost 6am so we're gonna check on our score. Like we're about to get the rewards for the weekly duels and stuff. I uh, got rank. Uh, where am I? I'm like, I got really low rank like this week. We are ranked. Where am I? I got rank 87. So yeah, so we hit 2400, got rank 87. The cutoff for top 100 this week it was really competitive. Like uh, you see, it's 24, 26. So a lot of people are climbing now. I'm guessing a lot of people are getting better better souls and stuff, right? So, while we wait for it to be 6am EST, I'm going to show you guys how I sell my souls. Because so like, I've been getting a lot of questions about how, which souls to keep, what souls to sell. Mm. Alright, uh, I'm not sure how the background volume is. Like, I'm going to just reduce it a bit more. Right. So we're gonna go to souls, change. What souls to keep, what souls to sell. Let's let's go through it. Like I, I would go okay, before we go through that, I would say the first thing you wanna do is you soul up all your guys. Alright. So like You're waiting for tomorrow to for souls to appear in shrine? Cool, yeah, me too, man. Like like we're gonna get three tries at that. So what I do is usually what's up Morpheus? What I do is usually I'll just like soul up everyone. Uh, I'll go through everything, see what's the best stuff I have. Like um, I can get this one in, which give me. Is it worth farming souls without the buff? Yeah, yeah. I mean I do that like most of the time without the buff, like cause the buff is only for one hour. So once done, then like you're left with no choice, right? You still have to farm souls because you need souls to feed your souls and you know to feed the Onmyoji or whatever it is. So, yes, I keep getting sidetracked, <laughs> right? Um, basically, I've, I do up every one of my guys, like whoever it is. Oh, yeah, by the way, earlier I just did a YOLO one summon and I got a dupe shooting. So I'm going to shrine this guy because uh, I'm not sure whether I want to like, whether I want to keep like, this is my third shooting, by the way. So I'm like, I might as well just get tickets out of it SSR right yeah so gonna get 10 gold talismans and uh, another 750 ticks it's cool all right well the shrine resets tomorrow I think preview 27th February so yeah the shrine resets tomorrow then you can get like three quotas of this I think like you can get three souls from it how do i go back all right yeah so back to the souls thing how i would sell my souls basically i would keep all the speed on slot two so like this i would keep this i would keep this i would keep uh, the G5s I wouldn't really keep because the difference between G5 and G4 is only two speed difference. So and, and it's like not even worth it even if they have a speed sub. Like uh, even if they have this plus two speed sub here, it's not worth to keep it. For me, that's why I think like so. Just keep the the main ones like the, the G6 ones. Then depending on priority, like. A lot of people might not be using main stat defense, right? There's not many. Um, there's not many like first first slots, two, four, four, and six, right? There's not many that we use defense. 
So especially on this slot, like I won't keep this kind of defensive stats. Like the only reason why I would keep a defense one would probably be if we have let's find an example. No, it's not good. One. Mm hmm No, we got nothing here. Uh let's see. Alright, like this Jizzle right here. Like it's got plus three speed, although not ideal. Like it's not like a plus three speed like this with all stats unlocked. Like for this kind of soul edge that you're looking at here, it's a possibility that it can be up to 18 speed. Possibility. Please. <laughs> possibility. And not not to say it's confirmed it's gonna be plus 18. No, it's it's just a possibility that it can go to 18 speed. Whilst this as a possibility it can go to 15 speed. Or even 18, because sometimes there are like souls that go all the way up to plus 15 without even unlocking the fourth stat so this also has a possibility of going up to plus 18 so if it's defense and has speed i'll keep it but if it's a defense with no speed uh, okay all of them have speed but this is like a g5 i will not keep this this one i will sell it um all g5s mo most most g5s i would sell unless i get something like this Right, which rolled all the way in crit damage. Mm, this I keep because until I find a better one. What else do I sell? I sell if it's not three unlocked. Like, like I would sell the G6. The G6s. Let's not talk about the G6s. Let's talk about the G5s. Okay, like a shadow, right? It only has speed and HP. Like shadows, like an attacker set, set, right? So you want like crit rate crit damage attack speed those kind of stats so if they don't have at least crit rate or crit damage or attack then i probably would sell that soul unless you're just starting out and you don't really have souls then yeah you you probably need to use it mm, so right now i've already prioritized i uh, prioritized my guys so we're gonna the g4s i used to feed like all the g4s i used to feed sort by greed like all the g4s i used to feed none of them i keep anymore nowadays because i've been getting a steady steady flow of g6s and G, uh, g6s i wouldn't even power up g5s anymore nowadays unless i absolutely have to mm, like this tree spirit here right this this uh great five tree spirit there's a possibility that they will go up in increments of plus two so it might unlock another stat so you can power up five times, right? If it unlocks another stat, then you go four times power up. Four times two plus two is ten. So if it's a G5 or a G4, the possibilities of it, it can only be up to plus ten speed. Which I'm, I'm looking at the wrong guy here. I'm not sure whether I'm saying things right. Where am I? Where's my Kamai? Like, so... What are we looking for today? I'm just going to feed some stuff. I've got speed plus three there. What else? Uh, another speed plus three there, but no. Four souls. So this is the highest probability for me to get like hella speed. Let's feed some stuff here. Um, whilst we go through that, let's look at this. This is Snow Spirit, right? So it's like a CC one. For CC ones, you probably want to look for speed and effect hit, right? It's grants top percent chance of inflicting freeze, right? So you're like. I'm gonna look for like effect hit and speed so like speed crit rate crit damage if you somehow want to build like a snow spirit tango you probably might want to keep this maybe hey what's up general razor what else would you want to keep um, well you never keep any of these because they're just like g4s so yeah, if it has like effect hit and speed, yeah, you probably want to keep that for CC ones. But for me, I'm just gonna feed all of them. See how high we can go. I'll keep my Jesus like basically for for souls that I probably might want to go through. I'll keep them for souls that I don't think that I'll use right now. Like Nightwing, I'm not gonna use Nightwing. Yeah, I've determined in my mind I'm not going to use Nightwing, I'm not going to use Holy Flame. Um, so I sell those. Summerset I'm not going to use. Mirror I'm not going to use. 
Uh, Boro Boro Ton, I'm not gonna use. I just straight up feed them. Well, cancel. So basically, this is how I feed my shit. Like, I just don't care about what, what, whether they look good or not. Like, if it's really something that I'm not gonna use, I'll just feed it. Fortune Cat, especially, I'm never gonna keep like those without speed. It, yeah. Yeah. Shy, so I know, but then again, this is me. Like, I know I'm not gonna use them, you know? It could be different for different people. Like, people might say, like, oh, I wanna use the Soul Taker set, I wanna use the, the, the Shadow one. Then obviously, you keep those. But for me, I'm like, uh, not currently, you know, this kind of stuff. Not what I wanna keep. Scarlets, I have better G6 and G5 Scarlets. Azure, though, uh, I would keep this. This is potential plus 10 speed. I will also keep this because it's HP bonus and is also potential plus 10 speed. Uh, this is potential plus 10 speed too, so I'll keep that. So is this. Plus these two I can this I can give away. Can feed off. Mm. Again, defense bonus. Not many not many shikis are gonna use defense main stat. So basically, most defense main stats you can sell unless they have desirable stats. Uh, this is one day of farming. This is like 1k AP. One day of farming gets me about this much. This is from yesterday though, like I haven't started farming today yet. Oh, I, I twisted my ankle. Ibisu, um, I'm using Soul Edge for Ibisu. I share my souls between Ibisu and also Shuzu. Claws. We're gonna YOLO this, hopefully it goes into speed. Oh, 473k. Shit, that's a lot. Come on, at least give me 10 speed or something. Please. Yeah, I, I, I was lifting stuff up, then uh, I kind of landed in an awkward position. 9 speed. Fuck my life. So there was only like one, two rolls into speed, then uh, two rolls into HP, two rolls into effect hit. Or is it one roll? Two, two rolls HP, two rolls speed, one roll effect hit. Well, it's better than whatever the shit I have right now. Right now, I only have plus seven, so plus nine will give me actually like two more speed. I have another one here that will give me another two speed somewhere. Fuck. That's sad. I was <laughs> Well, okay, never mind. You know what? This is the first time that it's got a plus 5 speed this whole week. This whole week, I've just been getting shit luck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, when you start doing soul 10, you'll be getting, like, access to a lot of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to start my... Restart my game room because the, the reward should be in. And I don't think they have sensitive information about um, when you're logging in. So I think it'd be okay. So I'm running on game room. See how many crystals we get this week. Both of them are good, depending on which ones you have better souls for. Let's have a look. So all the rewards, top 100 rank rewards, you get the frame, alright. Realm defense rewards uh, resisted 88 times only, which is all right. 176 medals. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of better pe people who have better defenses, but co-op duels. I was 2200, so we got the second highest tier, which is 250J. Below is your reward based on your guild's co-op dual guild meta ranking. So our guild got number one, so it's only 80 J. It's alright. 
duels give you 500 J. Like if you hit 2400, regardless if you're top 100 or not, as long as you hit the score, you're gonna get the rewards given. So I think people should just should actually do it until you can hit the tier that you get, uh, so that you can get all these things, right? Okay, what do we get here? Okay, my realm rates. I have been doing shit, like really shit in realm rates. Like I've been fighting people who are like. It just got so annoying that I didn't want to do it. I only did like a few realm raids. Uh, we only got 100 there. It's cool. How much jade was that? It's about 850 jade total, something like that. It's not bad. Not bad. Let's go back to releasing souls. Um, what else? What kind of stuff else do I sell? Let's have a look. Defense, this is pretty much I'll sell this because one, it's got no desirable substats and it's the slot two. I don't have any defense based shikis that will use it. I'm not sure whether there are any defense based shikis in the game right now because I don't have them. Uh, what's the specs my PC? I'm just using a laptop right now. It's an i7 7700HQ, something like that. How did I get so many SSRs? I just summon like normal. Like I don't go crazy. I don't go crazy and buy like summoning packs or what. No, it's just pure luck. Like I'm, I'm sorry if you guys feel offended if like I'm just lucky like that. But yeah, it's uh, it is how it is. That's how I got him. Okay, this one attack bonus with crit damage. You know, it's not the most desirable stat, but if it does go into all crit damage, I would probably keep it. So for now, I'm keeping this. HP bonus with speed, tree nymph, I would probably keep this because this can be go to like a tank. You know, especially although I would like speed on tree nymph, which I have here. But HP bonus with speed, I don't mind keeping them. Because I'm not at the point where I can be really picky with my subs yet. I'm sure a lot of people are also not at the point where they can be really picky with their subs. So yeah, claws, claws HP, like obviously this is not something you wanna you wanna keep, right? However, there is an exception to the rule. Why? Because you can use this HP bonus with Momo. When you think about it, right? This, uh, if you have Momo and you want to put up like, uh, you, let's say you want to give her, let's say you want to give Momo, let's say you want to give Soul Edge to Momo. Soul Edge? Would I, would I give Soul Edge to Momo? No. Let's say I want to give Trinum to Momo. Let's just assume I'm giving Trinum to Momo. Right, so I'm giving her a tree nymph set and I wanna What do you recommend for clone SSRs? I just shrine man. I just shrine my, my clone, like my Duke shooting. We just shrined it earlier, like like a, just a few minutes ago. And uh, I, I got like that's my third shooting. So I shrined it and we got ourselves a cool 750 talisman and 20 more. However, you know, some people most people say shrine, some people say feed for skill ups which is not a bad idea also you know you could feed for skill ups i don't know depending on, on how you want it like me i i would i don't know man I, I've, I've been contemplating like between ibaraki g6 and shooting g6 i've been testing out my my ibisu my counter team you know inogami ibisu shooting shuzu and hito it's not really working the way i want them to work so i mean my stats are are just mediocre like now i only have like 24k hp here uh 26k hp in shuzu and uh, but, but basically sorry sorry shuzu set this one goes to ibisu so ibisu will get like 25k hp and stuff and uh, i haven't powered up inogamis yet like it's still plus zero i'm still waiting for the souls to come and also for the ones who shoot and like i'm still waiting for them to come um, for them to drop, drop. Why am I saying come? I'm waiting for them to drop, and um, to be honest, I'm not really impressed. I don't know why, but I have been using it as a test in the wrong places. Like I've been testing them in realm raids, which apparently you don't get HP bonus and stuff. So I know. But then again, when I think about it, like having an Ibaraki G6 would give me access to one carrying people for S10 if I need to making my fodder farms really much quicker uh, I'm weighing out the options between the two and I think I'm leaning forward towards making Ibaraki my next G6 although I'm really far away from that 
like I still need to make like a hella stuff still uh, my Berkey stats pretty shit like um, you can see we have only like plus three plus three plus three here so his stats are like this uh, 101 percent crit rate 156 crit damage which means I only had plus six percent crit damage from subs I have an 128 speed and it's like double the attack double plus a bit more so that's about plus 120 percent attack I think 110 percent 120 percent attack yeah yeah what's up sword dance oh yeah I just I was just thinking of like streaming like whenever I wanted to get rewards and show the the tiering and stuff and see what people can get um let's see what happens will, will the will the rank still move oh yeah the rank's still here so yeah let me just show this again right now it says everybody's rank one but i think i was rank 84 earlier or 87 something like that really really low down the cutoff was really really high this week my thoughts on real man buy his stuff like every time like i haven't i haven't to be honest i haven't really looked at his skills I'll be honest with you guys, like I don't I don't research all the guys. But yeah. Let's have a look. Um Rajin and Fujin take turn to attack all enemies three times, dealing damage equal to 40% of his attack each time. Okay, so it's a multi-hitter AoE. It's not bad. So, does he have like two hammers or something? Yeah, he needs a farm by SSR, like just use your honor points on him because like... Let's see how many... how many I have on him. How many shards? Oh, I've only bought... 23 so far. So, this week when duels start, I will get my honor, which... More. Which I should be getting like 4,800 or 4,400 on or something like that once it fills up. So I'll buy my 10 room and shards. And I'll buy my G3 grid armor. Yeah, yeah, I got you too, man. Like, uh, I summoned and I had it on record. Like, um, took me a total of 3 or 4 packs, something like that. Yeah, like, I didn't summon it con continuously. Like, it was over a period of 5 days, you know. Like, one pack there, then after that some random, like, drops. Then I open another pack, then later on I, I open my last pack and uh, we got her. Where is she? She's G4 right now. I've seen a lot of really, really good Yotos. But for me, do I want to bring her up to G6? I don't know. I was so happy when I got her because like everybody else was getting her. But now <laughs> when I think about it, do I want a G6 her? It's, it's a it's it's a nagging question in my brain. It's like who do I want a G6, right? It's it's like everybody goes through these questions. So I'm like, uh, she's great at cleaning up, right? But I think that there's so much more that I can get from making Ibaraki G6. Like obviously I don't have the souls, I don't have great souls for Ibaraki yet. But if I concentrate it on on getting like Ibaraki souls, then I think probably I can make a decent one, perhaps. Perhaps. I mean, we're digressing so far from what I wanted to say. Um, what do I have? Well, I've got this. This this is really sad, okay? This is like a crit damage. So, with nothing. Nothing. There's no crit rate. There's no attack. There's no crit damage. There's no speed. Nothing that he can use. It's pretty sad. Uh... I mean, I wouldn't be doing like a crit damage Ibaraki anytime soon, but if it was crit, I do have this, which I can just put it on. Which is about the same as this one, you know, like this one or this one. Both of them are pretty bad souls. But yeah. Yeah, it is It is very hard to farm G5 Great Dharma Master of Great Shikigami 6. So I think this week I'm concentrating fully on, on making uh, Ibaraki G6 because when I did this... Week, and the week before that was bring up everyone else to G5. That was what I did. And also like soul farming and stuff. Plus it's been Chinese New Year and I've been sick. Like like it's things have just been hectic. I was sick 
and like, I was really busy and today I sprained my ankle like I, I can't walk right now like really I can't walk like I literally need to wait uh, I called my brother to come over so like after work he's gonna come over and, and like buy me food and shit we are digressing so far off right so sorry guys like like we're on the farm so so let, let me just talk about this stuff like i didn't expect people to join the stream to be honest <laughs> i thought like uh, i'm gonna be lazy i don't wanna i don't wanna record it i'll just do it on stream and like if people have questions then we can answer it and like i'll show you guys how i sell my souls and stuff um Senesio. This is Senesio is like a tanky one, right? Where it grants 25% chance of inflicting days on the target for one turn when taking damage. So obviously you're not gonna put this on an attacker. But you know it's like could be usable for a broken set. I know broken sets are like really really a thing in Summoner's War, not in this game, not much in this game because a set bonus like you can get like 15% crit from a seductress set right and that will give you way more mileage than just a broken set which would not give you anything but I might keep this um, what else would I keep okay like this clause one I might keep it for Momo as an offset wait do I have a good one for Momo right now what's up guys I'll be back with some more on you. Uh, Someone just posted a question like, "How do you link up your game from your phone to play on your computer?" I'm like, I use Facebook Game Room, or you can do the Steam version. Oh, wait, where where is Boomon? Sorry, sorry, guys, I digress. So yeah, like I have a Seductress offset on her. Uh, this this is still pretty shitty. I don't have I don't have a set on her yet. It's all just broken sets. It's the same like the video I put. So. Slot twos, what would we sell? Let's have a look. One pawn, two tail. But I'm gonna give you a link. This is the link that I use for wanted quests. Right? So what you do is you go to that link, you just press Ctrl F, then you type in like pawn. And tail, so it's koi. The 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 one that you're looking for is koi. So that's the link that I use for wanted quest. You can just control F and search it. Mm, G5s. I pretty much release all my G5s. I don't keep them unless they're really really good. But none of these seem any good. Especially not main stats, especially not 246. 246 G5s I won't keep. 135s though I will keep if they have like good subs. Like what's a good sub to keep? Mirror Lady Effect Res. If I have nothing better to use, then I would probably keep this mirror lady, this one with effect rest and HP bonus, like, and just pray it will not go into effect hit, because this one will probably work. Um, Scarlet's if they have nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, pretty much all of it I'll sell. I don't have good luck. Maybe this, where we have attack and crit. Yeah, none of this. I'm gonna release stuff, then then we'll go from there. So I've been telling people, have been telling me that they're releasing and not getting stuff. Oh, dude, when you start farming Soul Ten, these things drop a lot, a lot. Like really a lot. Like people will say that oh you're 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 feeding it like like this G1, but I'm like that's the reality of it. Like. 
I got all this, this 518 souls, okay, that you see here from one day's worth of farming, which is about approximately 800 to 1k AP spent in Soul 10. Yeah, this is all just one day's work, and, and that's how they drop. Okay, maybe it's also dependent on the time. It's because I, I kind of messed up my foot, so that's why I was at home the whole day and, and I got all these. But yeah, so I, I release all my G5s. I use my G4s to feed. Um, and G6s, let's look and see, like, HP bonus with speed. Seems like a great soul, right? It could be like 18 speed. I'll definitely keep this. Um, HP bonus with nothing here. I would release this. I might keep this because it has another HP bonus there. But for this, it has no effect rest, it has no HP, it's got defense, attack, HP. Like, <coughs> let's think about it. For Senesio, right? You probably want to put it on a tank. So you probably need effect rest so that they don't get CC. You want HP bonus so that you get more HP. You don't want def you mean defense is okay, it's a desirable stat too, but you don't want to have attack on your tank, nor flat attack. Flat HP is fine, but then when you only have one desirable stat in there, you know, you can just sell it. Uh realm skin? I haven't even done that man. Like like my realm skin is still the normal realm skin. Like I've never changed anything. Uh, sorry, where is it? Killed realm. My realm defense is like this. Uh, where is the realm skin? Was it here? Oh yeah, that's it. Is. I haven't purchased any of it yet. Like it's a thousand jade. Thousand jade is a lot. You know, there's a lot you can do with thousand jade. You can buy AP. You can summon if you like. You, a million coins though. A million coins. You know how much is a million coins? A million coins is a lot. You know how long does it take to farm a million coins? I don't know. It's your coins. It's your coins. Like, if you think it's worth it, do it. If you can get a lot of coins, do it. Like, for me, I always am in need of coins. Like, we had 600k coins earlier, and it costs us 470k to just power up one soul to plus 15. So, I think keeping coins is much better than getting that realm skin. I don't know. Depending. Like, if you think that the 10% HP bonus from the 1 million it's worth more than, than, than powering up souls, then yeah, do it. But for me, I'm like, uh, there's just aesthetics and just extra 10% HP. Not, not really worth it. Okay, let's go through the, the souls that I will release. Uh, I will keep this. This one, because it doesn't have most of the desired stats, I'm, I'm going to release it. Um, what about the stuff that I'll keep? Like HP bonus with effect rest, HP bonus, right? Although it's a fortune cat, I would keep it. You know, just in case any of my tanks need it. Um, HP bonus with nothing. I would actually release this, but because it's Soul Edge and I don't have many of it yet. Uh, if you don't even need that money, then yeah, buy it, man. Like, it is what it is. This one has some speed. I will not release it. You're barely able to use 200k in a week. Ugh. I don't know, man. I, I, I can get like... Okay, this could be the claw pair of the other one. Oh no, wait. This could be just broken set for my Kamai or something. This is nice. This is really nice. Wow. But it's fucking attack. What? What? Oh my god. I'm looking at the, the, the subs and I'm like, wow, this is nice. But... But it's a slot 6 attack. I'll still keep it though. HP bonus with speed, we keep that. Attack bonus with uh, speed, possible 15 speed, we'll keep that too. Yeah, Morpheus has one mil right now. Effect res, effect hit, it's a Snesio one, but it's got no HP, nothing. I'm, I'm just gonna release this. Uh, Seductress with only attack, defense, HP. Definitely gonna release this. It's got no crit, got no crit damage, the only desirable stat is attack. And you know how you're gonna get screwed over by it going to defense or HP, right? So might as well just release it. Uh, this one has no desirable stat at all. It's only got flat attack, flat HP. Definitely gonna release this. Train him with effect rest, defense, crit, and flat HP. <laughs> one million subs. Go, man, not subs. Yeah. 
I'm gonna release this too. So with this, uh, this is an attack. So like house imp is deals an extra thirty percent damage when target is in a controlled state. It's got crit, but it's got effect rest and effect hit. Um, like don't make sense. I mean, if he had speed, uh, crit, crit damage. Yeah, but if it's only got crit, nah. Dawn Fairy, this is a control one, right? Grants 20% chance to delay target's move bar by 30%, so it got no effect hit, no speed. I'll definitely sell it because it's a CC one. For CC souls, you probably want effect hit, you want speed, or you want probably some HP. Yeah, but, but effect hit and speed is probably what you want for CC souls, so got none of those. We're going to release that. Uh, Snow Spirit, one look at it, you know there's a plus 3 speed sub here. Potential 18 speed, keep it right for sure. Let's lock that. Um, seductress defense bonus. Who's gonna use defense bonus on a seductress, right? So I'm gonna release this. Another defense bonus on claws, which is an attack set, right? I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna release this too. Soul Age with attack, but it's got speed and crit damage. So it's potential 18 speed. So I'm gonna keep it. Fairy Lady with HP and Effect Res. I'll keep this just because I don't have many Mirror Ladies with like slot 4 HP percent. Uh, Jizo Statue, but I'm gonna keep this because it's potential again, it's either potential 18 speed or 15 speed. Let's just keep that. Same one here, potential 18 or 15 speed. This has attack and crit. Oh, it's a tough one, but I'll probably keep it because I might need, like, uh, if I start moving to crit damage build for one of my, one of my, one of my attackers, then I need the crit. And if this can just go up, like, pump up a lot of crit, then I'll probably keep it. So I'll keep it for now. Mm, Temptress, 25% 20, chance of infecting confused when dealing damage. So it's got effect hit, which is great, but it has no speed. Usually when you're running CC comp, you probably you want speed and effect hit. And I don't plan to use any CC comps right now now, so I'm gonna like I'm gonna release this. Shadow is speed, crit, HP bonus, and defense. Okay, there's only two stats I want here, speed and crit. So if it goes to crit, that'd be great. If it goes to speed, then I'll give it to my Kamai. So I'll keep this. Uh, this one has speed, this is no brainer. Like no brainer. When you see Four unlock stats, and you see speed there, no brainer to keep. Harpy with crit rate, crit damage. I would keep this. Yeah, I would keep this, to be honest. Like, if it rolls into crit rate and some crit damage, and maybe if it unlocks like attack and speed or something like that, might be pretty good, might be. I'll just keep it. Uh, but flat attack, flat defense, definitely. Set it off, man. Watch it with effect hit. Nothing <laughs> like it's an attack rune, and you want to get effect hit HP. Definitely, you want to sell something like this. HP bonus and effect rest. I'm keeping this for sure. Defense bonus and flat attack. We can sell this. Hmm. Has speed auto keep. Has speed auto keep. Has speed auto keep. Open packs? Nah, no, man. I, I only got like thousand plus. Uh... All right, man. Go go farm some souls, man. Yeah, I'm really glad that you got motivated, man. No, no, Vic. No, man. I, hey, Vic, have you downloaded the game? Like, I'm not gonna open packs, man. I need the I need the jade for something. Okay, maybe we'll open one pack. Maybe, maybe. Like, depending. Uh, Snesio attack bonus. I'll sell this. This this looks good. I might keep it for broken. HP with speed, I will keep this. HP with speed, I will keep this just in case I want to give it to Momo. HP with speed. Wow, this look the same. What? So this is the HP bonus, plus 2 speed, crit, HP bonus, and attack. This one has plus 3 speed, but it, it, it's, flat. it's pretty much similar. But I'll keep both. See which one rolls what. HP with speed, I'll definitely keep that. Q 
you pet again. Attack and crit damage. Although there's only one desirable stat. Uh, I'll keep it. Yeah, yeah, it is interesting, man. Like, just download it, bro. Oh, Mirror Lady with defense. I, I don't have any Shikis that use defense as a main, uh, main stat, so... I'm, I'm gonna release this. How many do we have now? We've got 17 G6s on release. Wow. Train him to effect hit. No speed, though. Must sell this. Defense bonus, crit damage. Yeah, I'm gonna sell this. Like, Soul Edge is a tanky. Tanky, like, 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 Soul Edge and Train Nymph are tanky stuff, so you wanna have, like, HP bonus, effect rest, flat HP, defense percent, maybe, some speed, hopefully. But we only have flat HP, flat defense, effect hit. Um, we don't need effect hit for tree nymph because it's not status effect. It is it grants 25% chance of removing one orb from the target when an ally takes damage. So it's not status effect, so you don't really need accuracy or effect hit for it. So you can release this kind of thing. Um I'ma release this. Speed and crit for Starlet, definitely keeping this. Dawn Fairy with plus three speed. So if it only has plus two substats with plus three speed chances of it opening up two more stats is very high so because of that if it opens two more you you have five power ups total when you hit plus 15 so if it opens two more you have three power ups three times three is nine plus three is twelve so probably just release this for sure is zashiki skin worth it I mean, I don't get any skins. The only skin I've gotten is Ibisu. It's all... If you like it, you get it. Kind of thing. It's it's a preference. Not a... Because there'll be no buffs to it, right? That You won't get any buffs. If, if, you, if you get it or you don't, you know? So, yeah. It's entirely up to you, man. Oh, there's a G5 crit. I'll keep that. Type bonus is speed G5 crit with extra crit. Okay, I'll keep that. I'll sell this one instead. And now we're 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 in G5 territory now. So G5 territory, I am I'm very strict with the G5s I keep. My I keep. Gotta look cool. <laughs> uh, depending, man. So like G5. Okay, speed crit HP bonus. I might keep this because it's possible plus 10 with the HP bonus. Mm, selling this off, selling this off. More defense stats. Double crits. Keep a possible plus 10 speed. I'll keep this. Attack shadow for sell for sure. Sell, sell, sell. HP bonus with nothing. Sell, sell. Sell. Defense bonus with speed. I'll sell. I think that's, that pretty much like sums it up. But like what you want to keep or sell, right? Like this crit damage plus 11%. Um, let me pull up uh, on Muji. Thingy about crit damage. Let's see how how high up it goes one sec I know a G6 one goes up to 89% crit damage um, pictures souls and stats crit damage G6 one goes up to 89% while a G5 one goes up 71%, which is 18% less. I don't know. I would. I'm gonna release it. I'm probably not gonna use like a G5 one anyway. Defense bonus on an attack one, definitely for sure sell. Attack bonus sell. Uh, defense sell. 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 Pretty much, I sell G5s just because, um, 
I know I won't use them kind of thing. Oh, but this zombie set I'll keep. Like, like for sure though, like, it's got crit, right? I'd definitely keep it because there's a crit stat also. But like, sets that I want to use badly, like, Seductress. Um, just crit damage only, I will sell. If I raise a hit, I'll sell. Hey, what's up, Evans? Uh, some crit, but nothing else, I will sell. Temptress, attack and speed, I will sell. Okay, crit rate, crit damage, if I hit, I would keep this just because it has crit rate and crit damage. Attack and speed, I would keep this. Attack and crit, I'll definitely keep that. Attack and crit, I'll keep this. Like, I would power them up and see how they go to like plus, plus 12 and see how it is. Like, if it's good enough to be used, I'll use it. If not, then I'll sell it. Crit damage, speed, crit rate. Okay, this clause one, I'll, I'll definitely keep. Effect res, nope. Attack and crit, I will keep that. Watcher. Uh, don't release G4 Souls. Never release G4 Souls. G4 Souls, Great 4 Souls. You want to keep them to feed your current souls. You want to keep them to feed your Onyoji. Like, G4 Souls, like, you need them for feeding. G5 you can release because G5 and G4 are pretty much the same. The stats are going to be the same. Let's, let's have a look at, at some that will be the same. Uh, wait, we're almost at the end of the list, I think. Uh, I just need to release 18 more, then after that, can, I'll, I'll show you guys like what I mean by the same. You got Obumi Grade 6 with low great souls. Like, if, it, if they're G4 souls, they're fine. Like, eventually you'll get there. Um, defense bonus, effect hit, defense bonus speed, crit, defense bonus, attack speed. Okay, I'll keep that. Defense bonus speed. Okay, you can sell. How many pieces am I at in the event? Um. Still far off from finishing it, but I've, I haven't been playing much, so yeah, I'm, I'm still low on the realm rate ones. I'm still low on the, I'm still low on the exploration ones. I'm still low on the Evo Zone ones. Full take of crate, frag rest. Okay, so 100, you max out, like, alright, so, supposedly we're gonna get 180k coins here, but let's hope for a super blessing. We should get about 35 gold Orochi scales. So we got 180k coins, we got 54 gold Orochis. That's way more than what I expected. I got a shard, we got some broken amulets, we've got Azure Cup 2 and Fire Wheel 2 pretty cool that means we can get like a soul of our choice right now uh, what am I lacking let's say I want to work on Ibaraki I don't mind keeping this soul I would like a better s slot 4 oh do I want a scarlet one this is okay this is all right oh this is actually great 8% crit, 11% crit damage. It's actually great. I do not have a crit. So it's Scarlet slot 6 maybe. Or shadow slot 6. I think, I think I'm going to go for a Shadow. Let's see what we get. Stick Trader. Oh, we're just 4, four skills away. Let's release some more. <laughs> 4 skills away. Let's release some more. Then we can just get 2 one shot. Um, let's go back to that thing that I said about G4 and G5, right? Like, what's the difference? Um, what do I have here? Seductress, Seductress, nope. Because, like, G4, G5, I'm saying about slot 135s, right? Uh, look at this Seductress. Okay, let's look at this Azure, right? This Azure, like, its potential to be 10 speed, that means, let's say, one will unlock one stat, plus two will unlock one stat sometimes. 
Then after you can power up 4 more times, plus 2 becomes plus 10. That's G4. We look at G5 with also like unlocked speed. Same thing, alright? You know, you could... It's, it's the same thing, but it will cost way more to power up this this shadow one for speed rather than this azure one because it requires more exp to get plus 15 for this one so i think that slots one three and five which this slot one three and five it's okay to use g4 ones and even for crit chance for 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 slot six it's okay to use g4 ones do we have any crit chance ones yeah we do we have a, a, a jizo crit chance one which will give you crit chance G4 will give you 36% crit whilst a G5 will only give you 38% crit but a G6 will give you 55% crit which is way more than what it is yeah there is no difference really same substats same substats powering up main stat difference is only off by 2 that's it so it's like really not worth it to keep G5s, unless, you, unless, uh, unless I got something like this, which pretty much when powered up once into crit damage, twice into speed, once into crit rate and it opened up a HP bonus. This is like okay, I don't have a replacement for it yet, like uh, my seductresses aren't really great, I don't have, I say aren't really great but they're pretty alright, like uh, I was messing around my souls the other day. So what I do is I switch this one out. I switch this one out. I get myself 215% crit damage. Then I switch this one out. And I get myself 100%, 102% crit damage still. Uh, I lose a bit of attack, but I get myself 227 crit damage. And this one hits the highest. My only issue with it is I only have plus 12 speed. Uh, so if I'm using Seimei, this is great. But when I want to clear my realm rates really quickly and I use Kagura, this is not great because my Kagura is at 128 speed and this is only 122. So uh, I change it. Like depending for co-op duels, I use this setup. For running Soul 10, I use this setup. Uh, because if not, I'm too fast for the Seimei or too fast for the... Too fast for the Seimei or too fast for even like someone else's Ibaraki so I just I slow it down like I have these two different configurations whenever I, I change but for when I run Kagura I switch back this one and I switch back the speed one so I run at a flat 200% crit damage 105% crit rate uh, with about 180 more attack but it does the job all the same it just hits slightly less all right, um, let's release for that four, four Orochi scales, right? Mm. Release. Let's see what else we can release. Uh, fight rest, crit damage, definitely for sure. I'm selling speed. Yep. Crit HP effect hit. Yes. HP bonus only, attack bonus crit rate, yeah. Mimic is also another, um, it's like a CC one, so you want effect hit and speed. Not there. Not there. Effect rest, HP, effect hit, I, I might keep that mirror lady. Attack defense, effect hit, yeah. Selling, 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 selling. Selling all these. Just crit damage, yep. Speed and HP, yep. Just speed and effect, yep. Attack and crit damage, we'll keep that. Attack and crit, we'll keep that for sure. Attack defense, sell. 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 Attack HP, sell. Sell, sell, sell. 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 Looks like I'm selling a lot of stuff, right? But because I know that I'll never use it, like it's it's either. I, what's the point of hoarding stuff that you know you'll never use, right? I might as well just convert it to coins so that you can do something more with it. This is just a G5 speed. I'm I'm a 
but still it's a fortune cat one so I'm just gonna keep it. Um Soul Taker Speed Mirality for sure cell defense cell HP cell defense tech tech This Azure with attack definitely not gonna keep um I'm not gonna use house items HP effect res. I would keep this if it was G6, but it's G5. I have a few Soul Age G5s, main HP stat, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell all these. I basically sell every single slot two when there is not G6 usually. Usually. Snow Spirit. It's another CC one. None of it. Sell effect res defense bonus. Okay, I might keep this. Defense bonus, HP bonus, might keep this too. Just crit, fight res. Mm -hmm. Crit rate, crit damage, we'll keep that. So even though they got speed, but like I have like better ones in G6, so I'm like. Rather than having to aim for just 10 speed, I'd rather aim for more than 10 speed because I already have those slots at plus 10 speed that I want. Yeah, you gotta also know your souls. Like, you would need to know, like, at this slot, how much speed do you have already so that is it, is it okay for me to sell it or not? If you don't know it, then, then yeah, it might be an issue. Uh... chance okay, let's keep this yeah yeah sure go ahead man there are no silly questions man go ahead oops can I give you coaching <laughs> On what, bro? Like, like I have no idea what kind of coaching you need me to give you. Like, okay, you know what? This attack with crit damage, watch your one. Let's just sell it. Like, what's the chances of it just going to crit damage, right? Uh, what's the speed one? I'll keep speed, keep HP, 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 speed, HP. Attack, speed, crit, damage. Ah, oh, it pains me to actually keep this because I know I'll never use it. All right, so I might as well just release it. Sometimes you see Yamausagis; they have sparkling lava back while your Yamausagi doesn't have that effect. Oh, the effect hit and effect res. Yeah, I, I put a link in the let's talk about souls video about the calculations for that because um okay i might be wrong i might be wrong i might be wrong okay but we will we'll go through the calculation i'll open up the site and then we'll talk about it i might be wrong though like i could be dead wrong but since you want to talk about it we'll, we'll talk about it like I'll read it together with you and then, then we'll go through it and see whether it's it's right or not. Um, okay, let's release this. I only needed four, but we ended up releasing 100 of it. Oh man, give more scales. So, have a look again and see what I need. Um, Scarlet's. I don't know man, maybe should I go for Shadow or should I go for Seductress? I think I should go for Shadow, like slot, slot 6 Shadows. I think I'm gonna go for Shadow slot 6. What's the chances of me getting another soul like this? Pretty low I think. So let's just, let's just go for Shadow slot 6. Hopefully I can get a crit rate or a crit damage one. The last time we got a good one was during a stream, so come on, give me a shadow, 
slot 6 crit damage with crit rate attack speed and more crit rate subs <laughs> I'm being greedy I know but fucking defense bonus man come on and Jesus oh no ah that's that you release all that for for just these two like shitty souls so yeah you're not the only ones that go through and get shitty souls I do get it too where was it this was the one that we got earlier defense bonus and a HP bonus with crit rate pretty shitty but um, yeah it is what it is so I hope that kind of answers like people's questions on what souls to sell what souls to keep right? we, we, we can look at this right we can look at the stuff I kept right look at the stuff I kept I kept stuff with okay I know I'm not gonna use an attack percent instead but I'm keeping it for the speed why because it's potential 18 same thing here I'm also keeping it for the speed also keeping for speed keeping for speed and also the fact that this is, does look like pretty good sub stats like it's just a shame that it's an attack bonus main stat keeping for the speed uh, I'm not keeping this I'm, I'm gonna release this but we just summon it right I'm keeping this just because of the main stat this is my only crit damage run so I'll just keep it I'm also keeping this just because it's a crit rate main stat I don't have any I'm keeping this for for obvious reasons, speed and also is because of HP bonus. I'm keeping this because this is a tanky soul run. Um, I'm keeping this just because it's crit. What else? Like slot two. What? Why do I keep this? Because it's speed. Because it's HP with speed. Because it's HP with speed. Because it's speed. Because it's speed. Because it's HP with speed. Because it's HP with speed again. Uh, what about slot 4s? What do I keep? I keep this because... Look at that, it's such a beautiful soul. Right, um... Because his HP, he's got tanky stuff, and his fortune get. Welcome back. I'm keeping this because it's a main HP stat. And has a flat HP when I don't have many soul ages with HP means that. I'm keeping this because of speed. Most of the stuff I keep is because of speed. I'm keeping this just cause it's a main HP stat on Mirror Lady which I don't have many of. Uh, so the G5s basically I'll release again and the G4s I'm gonna feed. That kind of thing. That, that's, that's what I'm pretty much doing nowadays. Um, so yeah, that's how I sell, keep my, my souls. If you guys have any more questions just do ask. Um, what else can we do? do some summons no I only have 1850j like we could do some summons and I did get an SSR earlier today like it was the summon of the day and I got like an SSR the Duke shooting which we shrine earlier uh, have a look at my stuff again 128 128 this will move first I need G5 this shit Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done summoning. Like, like, I won't summon someone because, like, I don't find a need to. Right now, what I need is I need a lot of jade just to buy AP, so that I can get, um, I can get my G sixes rolling. You know, right now I'm, I'm so lacking behind. I don't, I only have one G six. Um, feels like as if like I'm, 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 I'm slacking, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually farming stuff. Like, I'm actually farming a lot. You saw me farming a lot, Soul Ten. Like. That was the the two releases were from today's souls itself from the harvest from today and i'm pretty sure i can still release some more you know like i still have a lot more i can release mm. oh yeah why do i lock these because of speed because of speed cause crit damage cause speed yeah yeah we went through all this already but yeah that's pretty much how i keep my stuff anybody has any questions like hopefully I can answer it. oh you've, you've got the question about the effect hit and effect rise calculation right hold on let me just pull this up 
What if I mistakenly release Utengu? You can't though, you can't release, like, because I lock my stuff, can you see? Like, there's a lock here. And, once they're G6, they can't be released. But if you do, however, mistakenly release your shit, right? The first thing you do is you hit support. On this left hand side, you hit the support. Alright, and you contact them. Alright, you have like account issue or, or a gameplay issue, whatever it is. I'm probably sure that would be like a like a gameplay issue or or an account issue. Kind of thing for sure. You know? Um let's check the event. You were asking about the moonlight thing, right? I'm still far off from finishing it. I need two more from Evo, two more from Exploration, and two more from Realm Rigs. Yeah, SSRs, when you summon them, they come and they, they come locked. So when they lock, you can lock it. And for me, uh, all my stuff that I'm working on, I lock. I lock all the things that I'm working on. The things that I'm not working on, I, I, I don't lock them, like, like all these things. I really want to work on Hoga. Like, uh, have this soul, like, which. I'm looking for a crit rate slot 6 for her. And, um, hoping for some better speed and better ones with, like, speed and effect hit. But I don't have enough. What was that picture with effect hit? I think effect hit is probably the same as, uh, crit chance, yeah. It's gonna be 56, 55 percent if I hit here. Kuro or Hoga. Completely different. Like um, Hoga, I want to use in a fire rain team. A fire rain team is used mainly to. Oh, what's up, Ash? <laughs> Sorry, bro. I was uh, that was that was all the the the, the relief of getting Yoto. But in the end, like. I still haven't used the like what have I done to you two? I've just left a B like this. Sad. Yeah, pretty sad. This is like shitty souls. Yeah. Hoga's good, man. Like um they're gonna be using Hoga in Fire Rain, which is a CC team comp. So what you do is you use Kamaitachi. Then you use Ameona, then you use Hoga, then you use uh, Shiki, and then you use a DPS. Alright, so what happens is uh, you pull with Kamaitachi, then you use Ameona, you use this skill for her, Sky Tears, right, which dispels their buffs and decreases their speed by 20. Like, I still need skill ups for sure, yeah. I mean, like, what's new? Like, my skill ups always only go to like first skill, so my luck is so bad, right? Uh, so when now when you land at that you have your debuff on then you use Hoga What Hoga does is uh, It summons the flames of Phoenix to attack all enemies dealing damage equal to 99% of her attack and grants an extra uh, Grants a 25% chance of taking an extra action when launching a critical hit right, but she has this passive right here where she has a 50% chance plus effect hit chance of inflicting days on the target for one turn when attacking a target with a debuff. So yes, uh, four supports, one DPS, well two DPS sort of. This is like a DPS somewhat because she stuns, like she's, she's a CC machine, she's a CC attacker, right? So you stun her and then you then move with your either your, your Utengu or your Ubume because they will be stunned. So basically, like, a counter team can't counter when they're dazed. Dazed. Let's use the word dazed, because in this game it's not dazed. Warrior Soul is kind of underrated in PvP. Let's have a look at Warrior Soul. Do I have any? Oh, this is an R, right? This is Warrior Soul. We got something on bio. Cool, ten shards. Still unlock of the evil.
Decreases all enemies' effect hit by 10% and effectiveness of their healing received by 40% for 2 turns. Cool. This seems pretty cool. Releases the restless souls of the dead to attack all enemies, dealing damage equal to 93% of forest souls attack. Possess all enemies for 3 turns. If an enemy uses any orbs while being possessed, it will receive damage equal to 50% of warrior souls attack times the number of turns the souls have left. Oh, that seems pretty good. There's a lot of underrated units, I guess, like warrior soul, um, some pretty cool ones that I want to work on, like um, uh, this, is this the one, the coffin guy? No, the coffin guy is Gaki, I think. Gaki, Tanuki, Tesla's pretty good too. Um, I want to work on Tanuki. Where is Tanuki? Tanuki pretty cool though. Like his basic attack has a chance of inflicting taunt and can't be dispelled. Holy shit, man. Like his basic attack doesn't require any orbs. Like you put him in a counter team, you can just counter and taunt and they can't do anything. But obviously it's like, you know, it needs effect hit also. Does max HP damage. Um, has a chance to also like uh, heal himself. Pretty cool stuff, like there's a lot of stuff that we need to read which I personally am not reading myself, like I know that I should be reading more of their stuff. Uh, what else, what other cool stuff do we have? Where's Gaki? Gaki is pretty cool. This guy, this guy has the... Oh, this guy definitely I think Gaki is the one with the revive and Kamikoi Kamikoi is also pretty good like a lot of people use them uh, use this guy like um... once evolved he can lower the attack bar of all enemies by 30% he also hits a few times I think was it this skill it also inflicts sleep and stuff. Pretty cool stuff. It's a lot, a lot of strategy in this game. Gaki is also pretty cool. Is Gaki the one with the... No, Gaki is not the one. I forgot which one it was. There was another dude that, that kind of reses people. I got screwed over by that team like really badly. There's hella stuff that's cool, like not S SSRs are not the be all end all stuff, you know? Like they're cool and all to get SSRs, but if you look at the Rs and you look at the ends, there's a lot of stuff that they can do that's pretty useful. But not mistaken, Raid Imp also has some some kind of weird skills. There, uh, inflicts taunt on target, forcing them to use normal attack on snacks. Then, target also enters anger. Uh, where they take 40% more damage, but they also like give up 20% more damage. But still, pretty cool. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Like, um, you want to run some stuff? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for my brother to come over and head out for dinner, so I should actually, like, limp my way to the toilet to shower right now. Uh, but yeah. What can I do right now? Let's do some realm raids. Just reset. Oh, you wanted to talk about the effect thing, right? Effect hit thing, right? One sec, let me just pull this up. It's a bit complicated.
our dude with coffin holding a lantern. I, is that the guy? I'm not sure which is which. Even this Kubinashi is pretty cool. Like, it has a no defense skill. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leap and take the shower soon, but yeah. Kumidashi has you no know, defense. Um, Ushinotoki is also pretty cool. Um, what is that guy? This is the one. Okay, I could be no. Uh, Kubinashi is pretty cool. Um, I think Oguna also has some pretty cool skills. Sacrifices himself to revive all KO'd allies, restoring the HP with 30% of Oguna's max HP. Like mass AOE uh, revive. Like cool, cool stuff. You know, like like you can play around with all these things. You know, it might not be the meta, but like. You know, if, if you're creative enough, you can come up with something that people haven't thought of and, and you know, call it your own. And I'm, I'm not so creative, you know, I'm like, I kind of like follow what other people do or, or see what I can do. But right now, right now, I pretty much cannot follow anything. Uh, one, because I'm slow, I'm slow, I'm, I'm hella slow right now. Like, I've been trying to do the whole counter team, but it's not working out well. And, and I'm still pretty slow. I only have... What do I have? 224 speed. If I do change it, 224, I have 225. And I have 227 speed. Still slow. Yeah. Make <laughs> sure add me as an SSR. Like, what can I do? Sit down and talk you to death? <laughs> oh, I, I bet this guy that used a futa... Futakuchi to um, uh, in, in in Soul Ten, and this is hella cool. Like this guy used a G6 Futakuchi, right? And he hit against four bullet marks. Um, bullet marks stack up to six times, and uh, it shoots two bullets, and then each bullet mark also fires one additional bullet so it's like six more bullets so eight bullets in total <coughs> break everyone's ankle <laughs> oh man my ankle's like in so much pain right now like you have no idea I, i'm just i'm under a lot of painkillers right now property is pretty cool property has like a built-in um then property has 20 percent chance of inflicting damage equal to 10 percent of the target's max hp which cannot exceed 120% of Papatia's attack, which is practically like, I mean, G6 and all, it'd be like 10k, like still, right? 10k against the, the, the Orochi or something. So she does five consecutive attacks. So you put like, you put Seductress on her, and she also has this chance of, 20% of chance of inflicting 10% of target's max HP. And both of the stacks, so there's, there's, there's a possibility, all right. Although it might not happen, it might not ever happen. There's a possibility that she can 100 to zero the Kraken. Cause five, 10 percent of her own is 50 percent of the HP. Five seductress procs is 50 percent of the HP, right? So I think this is really cool. Like, apparently, uh, she's used widely in world boss and stuff later on. So yeah, th this she's hella cool. Like. When you think about it, like there's a possibility, Yoto is a better version of her. Let's, let's have a look at Yoto. Twenty percent chance of inflicting extra damage equal to forty percent of her attack. So let's say seven. Let's say she has eight k attack. Let's just assume eight k attack at G six. 8k, 40% of that is 3,002. 3,002 times by 8 is 24k. Plus another 80%. 80,000, so it's like 100k. Still, yeah, it's, it's about the same. About the same. 
both have both are about the same so it's either like you could use Yoto or you could use the budget Yoto which is the puppeteer which yeah, pretty cool stuff you know like like so many things and oh my god I met this really annoying Vampira uh, this is my guild mates right Indian, okay, never mind. Take my guildmates one. Let's have a look. Ramen. He's got a really, really annoying Vampira. Like, I faced him in co op duels, and I was like, God damn, I don't want to face this team ever again. Where are they? Where is she? Where is he? Ramen. The realm. So he's got this Vampira, right? He's got that. 20k HP, 6k attack, 88% crit, 168% crit damage, right? So we couldn't kill her. She just kept revenging and killing all of us, you know? It's like nuts. Vampira is nuts. Like, they, they had this cancerous team going on with Shuzu, Momo, um, Shuzu, Vampira, Momo. Ibisu, someone else's Ibisu and stuff. It was pretty cool stuff. Like, it's nuts. This Vampira is really cool. Like, I I fed my G4 Vampira to make a G5 last time or G6. I think make a G6. I think uh, G5. I think, which is pretty dumb. But now I I I I like summon two more Vampira. So I'm like, I probably will build her sometime. It's just that it, it just takes too much to build in this game, you know, like like it just takes too long. Too much grinding, you know, and, and there's no more 100% AXP. Without the 100% AXP, it just takes hella long. What am I working on now? Um, okay, here's the thing. I was supposed to work on my... I was supposed to work on my counter team, which... Which is right here. Shuten, Inugami, Shuzu... Hito, Ibisu. Five of them, right? This is my counter team with... I would switch out Hito for Amiona or Samurai X depending on the situation. Except that now I'm facing some issues in Realm Raid so I'm kind of wanting to like bring up Ibaraki so that he will move first and then Utengu will then clean up. Because there's a lot of counter teams in Realm Raids and like I'll show you guys man, like I get stomped a lot in Realm Raids. I'll show you guys. Like uh I'll show you guys, see 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 what happens. One because I get outsped, right? I got outsped. Oh no. What happened? <laughs> Never mind, this this was a bad example. Like this is this is great if all my realm raids were like this. This is this is really great if they're all like this. But unfortunately they're not, you know. So realm raids I tried to do counter team, but again no luck. I was thinking I want to build Ibaraki so that will, but of course my Ibaraki now is G5 and he looks like a, like, like a little girl like a little girl and see how that's yeah yeah the Inugami counter team though they're really great when they're in duels because you get that HP bonus and stuff in Realm Raid Realm Raid is supposed to be something really quick that you, 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 you go through real quick and uh, a lot of people are just like hunting with people I do that sometimes, I do that whenever I'm fighting like a Hito squad, uh, I'm fighting like a Nintengu, I'll just run my, my whole team without Ibaraki, I'll just put in uh, Hito there, like this right, Dorito, it's my guildmate. He's gonna outspeed me, he's gonna kill me I think, so what I do is, usually I'll put in a Hito. So they 
kind of like not kill themselves, but they're like. That, that's what I do with this team. Speed, but they don't use an Ibaraki. If they have an Ibaraki, then I'm pretty much screwed because, like, one Ibaraki can just like one shot me like that. Ah, oh, shit. And here is just uh, a shitty, like, it takes a hell of a long time. Like, oh, I have the up like, Never mind. So, this works. Like, this strategy of mine works when I'm fighting, like, being outsped, but they have dual AoE DPS. This works. But when I fight Ibaraki. Alright, Razor, see you, man. You know, um, study well, man, intuition. Uh, where is Ibaraki? I'm waiting for Ibaraki to show up. Still no Ibaraki. Okay, when you want to keep examples and everything you see is like, I swear to God, this was not my realm rage prayer. This my realm rage prayer. This was just like me being smashed over and over again. It's just like people having Ibaraki over and over. So I think. I kind of need Ibaraki and I also need to like focus on, on, on speeding my, my my guys up. Especially now that I have a lot of souls that have speed. The only thing I'm lacking is more souls to power than that. <laughs> Once I solve that issue, then maybe I'll be back up in speed. I don't know. I mean, I hope that it's, it's going to be like that. But at the same time, I think that the counter team will only work like if you're really tanky. Can we clear the this real quick? Yeah, Hito is hella good, man. Like, like, okay, we have a counter team right here. Uh, he's also got AoE with Umibozu. Will they outspeed? No, they will not. But yeah, Hito is really good. Like, even unlinked, he, he does. He's really good. Sometimes I die from that same. Uh, so Hito being there like kind of helps out too. Okay, this 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 is just I don't know why we're winning. Like usually I lose. My favorite in PvP and PvE is Utengu. Utengu was the first G6. Um, I like him, but if I had souls, I'll probably do. Um, I'll probably do Ibaraki. Okay, so what did they have? Why, why are we not speeding now? Oh, he's shooting. He's so Yeah, so real friends are supposed to be like this. Like, real friends. I thought you were friends. <laughs> Things are going our way. <laughs> I don't know how to show an example of when we lose. Okay, okay, this 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 could be it. This could be it. Uh, probably gonna lose here. Uh, Ibaraki is gonna smash it. Ooh, what can you do? Nothing, you can't do anything. Right? I mean, I could try doing something different. I try doing something different. In this kind of situation, what I'll do is. Uh, I'll put in Shuzu. So I have Kamai, Shuzu, Momo. Probably this one. I do Belm Rate Star. I do AP in the store. Okay. <laughs> 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 
空から私らを守ってくれるんだ So basically, this is what I do. I tank out my stuff. I put in my Shuzu who has Soul Edge.、Um, if, I, if I can't beat b u t basically, that's what I did against Mega Shi. Like,、uh, and then and Shuzu like Soul Edge twice. Like, every time Baraki tried to move, like, she went in front of Kito, like, she was t a l k i n g to Kito, and Shuzu moved in front of that, and like, that mitigates damage. So that's the only way against like, faster Ibaraki. Why should I invest my real money? Let's have a look at it after this. Like, I'll go to the mall so I can see what I'm doing. General、uh, medals, right? Real mid medals.、Um, what you can buy? I buy skilled a r o m a s Never miss one a week. Always buy this. Then earlier I bought this one mystery amulet and that gave me the dupe shooting. After that, what I buy is usually I buy the great a r o m a s Let's get some right now. Then later in the week I'll get a mystery amulet.、Uh, no, sorry, I'll get、uh, the AP. And if I really need to, I'll, then I will get my Shikigami challenge passes, like for all the stuff that you need. Like,、uh, now I need Momo. There's AP Ben 2 in the RAM that requires it that stores AP every time you use. Yeah, there is. Oops, that's the permanent jade pouch. Let's go to the RAM. So mine's at level 5, I think.、Um, I have 600 to bring it up, but it's just another 10,000 more. I'm like. Maybe I'll wait till I have more or something. I don't know. I think this is good enough. Any instant eminent pool in the future cantons to come? Nope. Unfortunately, no. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do many summons.、Um, I really don't do my, much summons. I can feel some cards right now, though. In G4. Give me a drum, a fish, a fish. Yeah, it stores AP, which you have access. Now, I have that one level up. Oh no, man, no luck.、Uh, the bento, this one, I have it up to level. The thing is, it never never goes up high. Yeah. I don't mind summoning your amulets, it's just that do you trust me with your account? And I'm, I'm, I also don't want to, like, don't want to be in a position where something goes wrong later on, you know? Like, I don't mind, but yeah, like, don't, don't suddenly come back. Oh, dude, you stole my account. I'm like, oh no, I don't want to be in that situation. Like, I don't mind summoning for people. Like, if they request, yeah, for sure. Sure, you can add me on Discord and, like,、uh, and we can talk there. I can do that. I can do those summons. Like, every weekend we can do something like that. Hey, what's up, Ricky? He has an 8 hit skill, nice. Like Yoto, Yoto has 8 hits too, right? I mean, I mean, that's all great for bosses and all, but I, I have seen Yoto's like clean up. My god, Yoto's are so powerful, and sometimes I feel like maybe I should build a Yoto. I should build my Yoto. I mean, I definitely want to build my Yoto, it's just that I even have the skin for her from this event, but I don't like it. Like, it's not as nice as, as this one. <laughs> Screaming your guests and stuff.、Uh, usually I'm calm. It was just that, that one day I have no idea. And it's an SR. Nice. After 100 AP limit, you will feel 1 AP in every 3 AP for your level. Yeah, I, I used to let it go like that and then I'll collect it from the Bento. But I don't know why. Like nowadays, I'm. I just have my AP filled up and I'll just run souls for the few hours that I know I'll be on. And look at the time, it's 8 30 pm. So I have to run soon. 
I need to shower. Like, I know we wanted to do the effect hit, effect rest calculation. I'll probably do a whole video about that and then you can ask questions there. Um, this one was supposed to be about how I how I sell and release my souls and what souls to keep. I hope you guys were clear about it. I'm not sure. Was, it, was I clear enough about what how I'm selling my stuff? Oh, let's have a look again. Yeah, I mean, like, like I wanted, I wanted to do that thing, but yeah, I have to run, run. Like, like it's eight thirty p.m. for me right now. Um. I mean, pretty much, I don't have any good souls that I've kept. Okay, apart from this, this is something I use, but I, I usually switch over, like, like I explained earlier. Um, kept for speed, kept for speed. Yeah, it definitely helped you with the great forward five souls. Okay, what about the 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 selling and keeping? Like, did, did you understand now what what to sell and stuff? You're ready to be enlightened anytime. Yeah, man, I, I will post the video up. Um, we probably do more fun streams where I... The fuck, Audi? <laughs> Audi. Oh, no, Mar Mar is like a really hot cosplayer. Don't be fooled. This is not her, her photo. Like, this is not her photo. This is some random guy's photo. Like... She has this really, really... <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm a sign up. Um, keep good speed substats with effect hit on CC sheet gummies. Yeah, yeah, de definitely, definitely. Like, like keep like speed, effect hit and stuff. Definitely, for sure. Um, for CC guys. And for tanky guys, yeah, obviously it's just like... Let's, let's go through it. Like, I have some... Okay, forget my... I just put these just 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 cause because I don't have coins to upgrade them, right? I only have enough coins to upgrade my 246. And some of them are like really like shit. Like this is shit. But at that point in time I didn't have any offset with effect res that had a HP bonus. Maru's 411. <laughs> I dig 411 like fun size. Never mind, I just shoot myself in the foot in front of Hello, people, but yeah. Um, well, attack is normal stuff, you know, like attack, crit. Okay, this is really bad. I have no attack, no crit on my souls. Uh, where, where do I have any attack and crit? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 we've got this. This is a great attack rune, you know? it's got attack, got crit damage, got crit rate, um, missing like attack bonus and speed, but yeah. I know, I think I've seen Maru's pictures. She's not 4'11. Like, she's taller than that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've been wondering whether there's a lot of traps. Okay, here's the thing, right? I, I always believed that girls on in the game, you know, they just use the acronym girl, you know, guy in real life. However, in my kill, I mean, I'm in Nura, right? And uh, we have a Discord chat. This is our Discord chat. So anyway, if you guys want to learn stuff or, or join the voice chat, join the Discord karaoke, you're free to come and join in. I'm not the leader, I'm just a normal member. <clears throat> so I have no pool. Don't ask me whether you can join the guild from there. No, I mean, like you can ask the officers there, which is like Maru, Marcy and stuff. <clears throat> and and uh, we have hella girls that are there and singing and stuff. And they have like their cosplay... Instagrams, their Facebooks and stuff, and, and they're uploading their own Muji stuff. So there's a lot of cute girls in my guild particularly. Alright? No, I did not join because of the cute girls. I joined because like a lot of members from my old guild left to join this guild. So I'm like, alright, I need to join this guild because that's like where 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 the where, where, where the where the good players went, right? And um some of them are real, some of them might be traps, I don't know, but the ones that sing along, for sure they're not traps, right? So, but if you're just like trying to hook up fine girls from from world chat, like, and... I mean, I'm just saying this because I'm a guy, right? all guys do this, okay? All guys do this, alright? It's not, it's not a thing that they don't do, like, 
like you're just gonna look at someone and go to their photo wall and stuff for like that you're, you're like oh okay never mind let's not do that let's do that another time but yeah it's uh yeah it's not just the guild it's a paradise definitely I'm, I'm staying here because it's a paradise like like the whole day i'm in voice chat and like you got all these girls talking to you and also like they do the disco karaoke i mean i've got a really bad voice i can't sing for shit you know but it's nice to know that when you're playing a game and and you meet people who you think initially are like ah oh, man there's no way this is a girl they rank higher than me in duels you know they, they rank higher than me in duels <laughs> like 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 check maru's out like maru has like uh where's her realm let's go to maru let's go to her realm like but then again, you also feel emasculated, you know, because like when they have a faster Kamai than you, it's like 241 speed Kamai, what do you do? <laughs> I feel so sad, bro, that uh, there's always karaoke going on. Like uh, I'm, I'm not in the chat 24-7. I'm always there in my morning time, which is about 12 hours ago until like uh, a few hours ago like like just just join in like like you can just go to guild and you can go to ranks and you can see like nura number one there there'll be this detail here so a lot of people mistake this for like their guild discord but it's actually our guild's discord but then you can go in there talk to people who are in the top 100 which a lot of our guildies are in the top 100 um their dual scores like basically anybody who now now that it's reset so it's 2200 right like one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. That's like twenty-seven of us in the top hundred. <laughs> yeah, obviously jealous when the girls level high and carrying your ass and stuff. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't don't discount the fact that the girls are real or not. Like, if they want, like, like you guys should like create a discord or something like get them to join or like test them by because you know there's this there's a software called morphbox right which actually can change your voice to like a girl or guy kind of thing but yeah you know you can always tell you know when it's robotic or not like but when they're singing i don't think there's a way to like change that unless they they naturally have the high pitch voice that sounds like a girl <clears throat> but yeah i'm, I'm digressing uh, so yeah, we're gonna stop the stream here. Thanks for joining guys. I, I hope you guys learned something I'm not even sure what I said earlier <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna head out for dinner. This is Zav signing out then. See you guys <laughs>